What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, y'all? You got the almighty DJ CJ Flash back with a brand new live episode of I Remember That Song and here to tell you all about it. Here to tell you all about it is the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Jerry Dove. Dominus Ominous, tis me, GD. What's happening, brother? <laughs> What's happening? Is that the new thing you rhyming now? Dominus Ominous, tis me. G I've been saying that ever since the eighth grade or something like Dominus that. Dominus Ominous? No, no. Or tis no. me, GD. Tis me, tis me, GD. Oh. Matter of fact, at one point when I started driving, I wanted to make some license plate and have that be my uh, my personal plates. Tis me, GD. Tis me, GD. Okay. All right. <laughs> random thoughts. <laughs> just, it just could random work. thoughts. Yeah, it yeah, could work. Like, why not? You'd yeah. have everybody saying it. Hey, tis me, G3, and the you go. <sighs> you go away with that kind of craziness, I'm sorry. man. I'm sorry, How you doing, my brother? I'm good, man. How's everything? I'm fantastic and trying to get better. You know, we already got 52 people looking at us and we haven't even really started yet. We're just getting, good. Just getting just started. started. I think that's that soul TV stuff that's working and, and, mm -hmm. and everything else. And we're putting on good shows every week and they like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In case you're watching for the first time, you're watching IRTS Live, which stands for I Remember That Song Live. It's just me and my friends sitting around talking about music and what it means to us. I'm your host, CJ Flash, is your music director. Ryan Nicole is here. Hey. Big Russ is here. Hey. They're part of the family, part of the team. We got D Minor going to be joining us in a minute oh, yeah. oh, because yeah. we got a great show. Here. He's an expert on one of these great shows. But before we get to that, and before we get to him, hello, folks. Hello, Jerry. Ryan, I like that purple background. You know that's my favorite color. You no, know, I try. I try to accommodate you a little bit, just a little yeah. bit. So you got the purple and the pink going. Is that what I I'm do, saying? I do. I do. Okay, all right. Like all Easter, Easter, Easter Bunny. All <laughs> all Easter, Easter in November. Why not? All right. Why not? Why not? Big Russ, what you got going on tonight? What's up, man? How you doing, Dove? Fantastic, fantastic. I have nothing say. bad to say about your outfit, brother. Oh, yeah. you, you fit right in. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nothing bad to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Okay. No, no. Unless you stand up and got some hot pants on, I think you would. Right. <laughs> right. Hot pants. Hot pants. Hot pants. <laughs> Again, random. Too random. <laughs> you are what's your shirt say tonight, but... brother? Is that, what's that oh, shirt say tonight? Jimi Hendrix tour shirt. Okay, let me get oh, you nice. uh, in the nice. solo shot. There we go. Nice. Okay, nice. nice. Yeah, That's beautiful. Nice. Right. You, got you got on hot pants? I do yeah. have on hot pants. You want me to stand all the way up? No, it's good. It's okay. Yes. Oh, okay. The whole screen gonna get dark. Right? I'm trying to warn you. <laughs> Kick it. I'm gonna black out the internet. I ain't afraid of you, bro. <laughs> get it. Yeah. That would not be good. <laughs> Miss Bernie Mac, man, he's a legend. Yes, he Speaking is. Speaking of comic legends, y'all saw uh, Chappelle last Saturday. Brilliant. Wasn't it brilliant? Awesome. That monologue. Yes. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. I shall remain silent. And they said they said that he. Uh, they said that he gave him a different one during rehearsal. Oh, yeah? Than he did when he came out live. No, that's, that's, that's brilliant. You, that's you, you brilliant. Tell, you can tell that from the band's reaction. Uh, yeah, for the real. The band was laughing like, should we be laughing at this? <laughs> <laughs> Only the brother, though. Only yeah, the they, were like, brother. they were like, where's my mask? I need to put my mask back on. Right, right. right. Now, so. he, he was bent over. And did you catch the, the last part of what he said at the very end? He said, see you next week. Oh yes, no! I did. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Yeah, what do you mean by that? We don't even know. Huh? I, I'm. I'm a. I'm inclined to believe that uh, it was one of those things because the writers just said they were going to boycott because he was on there. Mm -hmm. A couple of them did. And, a couple of them did. Yeah. So okay, fine. You want to boycott? Yes. See mm -hmm. you next week. Right. I'm right, I'm right, I'll be right here. Yeah, exactly. I'll be your best ratings in, in three years, right here. Real. Right yeah. always. Gene Emerson says that Black Star was fired too. Black Star they was fired. Both songs yeah. are hot. Yeah. Uh, I, I know that half of the world is looking up Potato Hole. Uh, <laughs> 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 is that real? Is, is that real? <laughs> it's very real. 
<laughs> it is. He did that was hilarious. That was a hilarious was skit. Brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Can I touch it? Does my wife have a potato hole? <laughs> I'd rather not talk about that. He's like, know. yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> All right. You did ask. I'll potato you, hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was, that was good. funny. That was All right. So look, tonight we are talking about we're gonna pick up uh where Unsung, that fantastic TV show that's on TV One left off because we want to do our own thing with still our records. We're going to take it to a whole nother level. All Think right. Or we got a little bit longer. They had interviews. We got songs. We got conversation. Okay. We're going to have some fun with this tonight. So the still our records, the sound of Los Angeles records, uh, brainchild of Dick Griffin, and Don Cornelius, considered to be the Motown of the 80s. Groups like the Whispers, Lakeside Midnight, our Dynasty, Climax, The Deal, and who else in the Rhinoco? Collage. We're going to find out why collage means so much to her in a little bit, so stay tuned for that. Producers like Leon Silvers, Jam and Lewis, Babyface started with Solar, a fantastic label. Man. Definitely something that's going to be worth of a show that we're going to have some fun with. Like I said, D Minor will be joining us in a bit. He's interviewed Leon Silvers in the past, so we're going to get some good insight from him. CJ Flash, you got some good music? Oh, I got some tidbits here and there. Okay, well, hold on to that. Because I, I need Ryan Nicole to do her thing. For yeah, how to give you the Baptist finger. Hold on okay, now. Hold on, hold on, all try. right, all right. I just want to let you guys know where you're at right now. You're right here with I Remember That Song Live. We are live on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Solar, or excuse me, uh, Soul TV. I'm like, Solar TV. Soul <laughs> TV. Do you remember right. back when? All the way across the pond. Uh, we are live everywhere. Listen, y'all, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share. Make sure you like. All that good stuff, okay? Because we want to make sure that uh, we let you know what's going on and that you're up to date with everything that's happening because we got new new shows happening, new guests, all that good stuff, and you don't want to miss a moment, okay? Again, I can't stress it enough. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That's how you'll get hip to what we are doing. Exactly. Yes. And let's say hello to some of the people that are already watching us. It's Sheila the Diva. Hey. I finally met for the Whoa. first time wow. Kevin and Sheila Tennyson yes. last Friday. Oh, yeah. They've been, watch they've been watching this show since day one. And mm -hmm. I met for the first meet? time. <laughs> no, no, no. I was at the uh, the black um you said to swap me. <laughs> the mask ball, you know, the black oh, mask ball. Oh, As a matter of fact, let me show you something real quick. Hold on, hold on. Uh oh, uh -oh. hot pants, hot pants. pants. Hot pants. <laughs> Put it in the chat, y'all. Hashtag hot pants. Hot, hashtag hot pants. Okay. This, hot pants. this oh, is my man. Oh, said I will. Oh, oh, nice. Okay. Well, I see. Nice. Oh, okay. I see. Good Wakanda eyes wide shut. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, does it do things? Right. Lord. Light up? Oh, it has a light. We saw it. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. It's like a Wakanda transformer mask. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All true. right. All right. Let's hear the accent, though, Jay. <laughs> All I could do, because because I had no peripheral vision, let me tell you that. So, just, so, so was, say, say hello nope. in Wakanda. Yeah, say hello in yeah. Wakanda. In Wakanda? Uh -huh. yeah. <clears throat> let me do that later. I have to get... Okay, going. all right. <laughs> it's a practiced one. I, I don't want to disrespect the, the Wakanda. I you got to get lubricated them. first. Right. <laughs> don't want to disrespect them, you know, so... <laughs> yes, yeah, so Sheila Diva. Sheila Diva. <laughs> had to meet her for the first time, and 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 it was great. And and her and her husband Kevin was a former sponsor of the show, and and uh, really good people, really good she people. Was, she so. was good people, Kevin. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I like them both. I like them both. And she lives oh, in oh. there saying the black mass ball or whatever I said it was, you know. So who else we got in here? We got That's Gina, great. like I mentioned. Emmanuel Briggs is from San Jose. Word. Yeah, let us know where you're from, y'all. Where you at? Charles Hughes is from LA, Los hey, Angeles. All right. Los Angeles. From the basin, and no less. Yes. Charles. And then who else? We got Kim Batiste, of course, is from Seaside. Grand Seaside. evening, Kim. Grand evening. Queen. Kim. Your mama oh. Nita is up in Sacramento. She's from Oh. <laughs> 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 Mo Jones is in the building. Eric Gill, one of the four horsemen, is in the building. All right, all right. So Eric, Eric Gill was there, was there that night, too. I saw him twice last week, as a matter of fact. So okay, okay. Because I, I went to see the um, the Temptation thing. You know? All right. Yeah, yeah, I went to see my whole week. You, oh, was out, you was outside, Jerry? I was outside four nights in a row. Wow. wow. Uh -oh. Four nights in a row. Look at okay. you, brother. 
I know he on his so I want to see ain't too proud to bend your AC uh, transit freaking fire my own <laughs> <laughs> at, the golden, at the golden gate that was great nice. and uh we're gonna have I'm gonna tell y'all right now I'm the audience we're gonna have some some members of the cast of ain't too proud to beg on this very so, show next Tuesday nice. how about, cool. how about that cool. how about that right. so Superstar. we're gonna talk about that and it was a great show you gotta go see it if it's anywhere near you D minor he's right here Walking how you, brown, doing? how you doing, brother? Media Brown Tanica. I'm doing good. What's that up, man? brother? What's up, Russ? What's up, doing, Ryan? Man? Hey, brother, what's man. Up? How are what's you? Up? I'm doing good. CJ, what's I happening? See you, brother, hey, hey. Turn some turn some light on in that studio if you can, man. <laughs> okay. One more light. One light, man. One more light. No, he's cool. He's cool. He is cool. Let his chocolate glisten one <laughs> <Yeah>. time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, brother, well. man. Uh, be, brother, you already trying to change his ambiance. He already you insist. <laughs> okay, my bad. So, all right. Well, D minor, you missed it at the very beginning, but I was talking about Solar Records, and I had proclaimed also, you man. to be an expert in Solar Records. So, I want you to give short, detailed clips throughout the show. Short, detailed clips. <laughs> <laughs> and that one more time for the people in the short, back. Short, detailed clips throughout the show. Yes, Got sir. It. Because I know you know, I always tell D Minor who's got his own show. Tell people when they can see your show, by the way, or hear uh, your show. Yeah, let's talk music. Uh, Sunday nights uh, from uh, eight to nine, uh, a little before um, Russ and CJ and, and Malachi and them. Uh, but yeah, on KPFA ninety four point one FM. Yeah, and what so do you do on that show, brother? What do you do? Uh, we interview artists. Um, we um, we uh, have conversations with uh, artists from. Uh, the New Jack Swing to folks on Solar like Virgil Roberts, who was the the the, the business mind to uh, Solar Records, along with uh, the late great Dick Griffey mm. and a host of others. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I always tell D Minor his show is like sixty minutes. Our show is like entertainment tonight. So. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or like this is video so we're screen scene. Oh, wow. come on now. Come okay. on now. Okay. okay. Right. This is why I had to tell him short, detailed <laughs> clips. <laughs> Don't get all <laughs> deep into to the, the, the second string violin player on that particular. No, no, no. I need that. I need that. Yeah, well, y'all can talk with y'all talk off, but I need on that him. information. He's into the minutia. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I, 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 need that. I need that, brother. I get it. All right, Flash. I'll, I'll be on Caribbean rhythms. <laughs> oh, we don't want that. Yes, I do. I, 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 yeah. Rachel, are you kidding me? Rachel, bro. I guess bro. I'm, yeah. I'm live from the basement over here. Bro, I, took, oh, I right. took Rachel to the, to right, the prom two years in a row. Ooh, took her to the prom? Two years in a row. She didn't know it, but I took her to the, to the prom two years in a row. Come on, Rachel. I had a Rachel stand up. <laughs> I guess we're all loosened up now. We're here. Yeah, we're here. Last, we're here. you ready right, with right, some right. music? I'm back. Yes. Let's kick off this tribute to Solar Records. Go. Baby, open the door. Up. Sugar, let me in. I just want to you a power. Baby, let me in. Sugar, 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 Okay, okay, music director. We often run and tell us about the first song you played. <laughs> Hot. That, that was a Soul Train gang mm, when yes. it was actually Soul Train Records. Right. Mm. Right before it was Solar. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the Soul Train gang right there. The joint was called uh, Baby Open the Door. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. I like it. Okay. Next song's called Put a Shirt On. <laughs> <laughs> Put a shirt on all of y'all. Put a shirt on all y'all. Here you go. That was the way to go. I mm -hmm. clearly, That's clearly, clearly. Mm -hmm. I love it. cleavage. <laughs> Save money on a stylist. That's real. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking cocoa butter, right? <laughs> I remember the Jackson Five actually had an album cover like that. It was the mm -hmm. anthology yeah. album. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I brought to you that. by Palmer's. Palmer's <laughs> 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 bony chest, right here all day. <laughs> You're too young to be running around like that, man. So. <laughs> All right, so uh, who wants to talk about that song? Any thoughts? 
I mean, it's funky. Okay. I, 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 it wasn't. It, it didn't work for me. I, I really no. Uh, no I, I don't even remember hearing it like something that I would like to hear on KDI. It was one of those things that I would just click, click, click back to KYA. Why? Uh, it, it just was kind of. There was no direction to it at all. It was mm. just no direction. Not to me. I never mm. really liked that song as a kid. Never at mm. all. Not that I was looking for direction at six, I was seven years old. Yeah, where are you trying to go? But I, it just didn't grab me. And you know, as a kid, you want to be something grabs you instantly. You That's know what I mean? Right. Okay. And there were so many songs in that space that really hit me. That was one I just it didn't mm. work. For me. I'm mm. not. I'm not mm. trying to start the show off with hate. I'm not doing that. Hey, but hey, that hey, particular hey. song, since you, hey, hey. Since, if anybody was to ask me, but nobody was to ask me, so, <laughs> that's just my mm -hmm. my humble opinion. Yeah, like <laughs> okay, okay. All right, Flash. Maybe the second one will put a smile on Russell's face. Go for oh, it, brother. All right. <laughs> We're going to talk a lot about the whispers tonight, man. Um, first of all, I love the whispers. I've never heard them sing a bad song. Even if I didn't like the song, I like the way they sang it bad, you know? So, and these guys are, are amazing. They still sound as good now mm. as they did back then. They don't move the way they used to. Mm. <laughs> they, they definitely sound good. And that song right there, that song right there got a lot of people's ears in Oakland. Mm, yeah. mm, oh, yeah. Come on, tell us why. Why? Because mm -hmm. it's about them pimps. And they turn out to live with them pimps. Hold on, say it again. Them pimps. Them pimps. Pimps. Two syllables. Two syllables. Yeah, pimps. 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 Wait, wait. How'd you lean me? Please. Yeah. 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 But not happy that they trying to do this song to bring Olivia back to the, you know. Yeah. You know. Well, well, it's funny though because a lot of pimps did not like this song because yeah. it was Snitching. about yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> and that was a, and and at Rising. that time that was primarily the whispers, uh, mm -hmm. listening audience. Yeah. So, pimps. you know, yeah, them pimps. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> So. Now, when they go to the Paramount this uh, this Friday, I believe it'll be the Paramount with the Dramatics, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. stylistic. Stylistics. Oh, stylistics. Oh, yeah. stylistics. Okay, whenever I go to, uh, when I used to go see the Whispers, I haven't seen them in a while, but then PMs would show up. Yeah. <laughs> and don't let the Whispers come in the summer because people still wearing them fur coats and stuff like that yeah. in the summertime. But it's hot, yes. hot and dripping. You know? Well, yeah, thank they, God they're they coming walk in November. The, ooh, they walk in the Paramount like it's... It's Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I can I real quick can I shout out? Uh, it was the dramatic supposed to be on the show. However, okay. LJ is sick, oh. and yeah, the doctor did not give him approval to travel. Okay, okay. so the stylist stepped in, and, wow. it, and it's a great great step in. Yeah, so, it is. So yeah, I just yeah. want to give positive energy to LJ. Oh, okay. absolutely. Yes, yeah. and in love, and in love. Are that. you guys doing the show? We are. Okay, good. all right. Yeah. Me and uh, HB Flash. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Paramount, Paramount Theater, if there's any tickets left, y'all make sure you get some because that's uh, one of them shows you might not be able to see these guys next time around. You never know when they're going to retire. So, And it's not just the show on stage, like you're saying. It's just the show in the, in the lobby, on yes. the way up, the cars, yes. everything. Yes. everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You will see not Mm, your fair share of deucing the quarters pulling oh. on the corner. With <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the fifth wheels on them. You won't yeah. have to see oh, it. You'll hear it. With the fifth hear wheel. It. Gotta have the fifth wheel. wheel. Mm -hmm. Gotta have that fifth wheel. Wow. All right, let's talk about the whispers for a little bit because, again, they have been around long before Solar Records. You know, yes. they, they've been around in the '60s and mm -hmm. and doing things like I remember Chocolate Girl and stuff like that back mm -hmm. in the '60s mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. And so when they came back and found, or Dick Rippey came and brought them back, uh, <clears throat> they 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 got some more hits. They worked with Babyface. He gave them some some rock steady and Leon Silvers, who we're going to talk yeah. about a lot. Gave them and the beat goes on, and just they became, I think, one of the bigger groups on Solar Records. Would y'all agree with that? I agree yes, with that for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and and it definitely took them a while to really 
Very get it, true. get it, you know, really get their careers going where they were actually able to make a living. And mm -hmm. I think Olivia Lost and Turned Out was kind of and that homemade loving song, those songs, uh, those are starting to okay, let's go all the way. That's when mm -hmm. they started to become okay, we're we're almost there there. We mm -hmm. almost there. But um, yeah, Olivia was definitely the kickoff. Mm, mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. a big Whispers fan. I I I, I really like. I used to uh, uh, the brother with the beard who was the he was the exaggerated Nicholas, Nicholas. Nicholas was the exaggerated dancer. And, uh, <laughs> dude, I used to have so much fun just watching him. I just focus on him, right. You know? Nicholas, uh, yeah. I have a question for you, uh, Encyclopedia Brown Tanica. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. um, so there is no Scotty, right? Why did he? Why did he? Because Walter and Wallace, how did he become Scotty? Yeah, that's that's a nickname. It's a nickname that 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 came about a, like early in in their in their career. Like growing up. Yeah, growing okay. up. Okay. And it's interesting because the whisper, because I think Nicholas and one of the original one of the original members, mm -hmm. and I believe Marcus. Marcus. They Hudson. were in a, they were in a whole different group, and then the twins were in a whole different mm -hmm. in, a, in another group, and they mm -hmm. were battling each other in a show and ironically they both lost but they won each other oh look at that oh, that's so they sweet lost, but they won and they each won other. each other look at that jesus <laughs> that's so precious yeah. well i mean i i was guessing that scotty came from the fact that they looked like no shade Don't, da, 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 da. <laughs> i know where this is going I won't go any further. Thank you. You might be right. right. You you might be right though. That might be where it came from. I'm you sure they had those mustaches yeah. at seven yeah. years at old. Seven years old. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I they told me that they got their start doing playing bars in San Jose. They're not from San Jose. Wow. But they were playing a club right. in San Jose every week. Yeah. Wow. That's how they really they got their chops. What's mm -hmm. in San Jose? That's yeah. I remember that story. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah and Sly and, and Sly was a big supporter of their of their stuff as well when he was on the radio at, mm. at Queso. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Yeah, but so many hits. I mean, the slow jams, you know, and just 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 so many slow hits. Slow jams. You know? Ooh, yeah. man. Ooh. I'll say this much, and I I won't. Take, I won't say too much, but my family's on. They they would believe this as well. <laughs> but I know that Lee Peters quietly had a major hand in the in the shift of their career and the right. sound of their mm -hmm. career. And if you listen to songs by the collage, by collage and you listen to songs by the Whispers, there's a there's a really strong similarity. My uncle was definitely a writer on the team. Um, you know, listed as one and not listed as one in different instances, but. Mm -hmm. But definitely integral. Your uncle Lee Peters. Yes, right. yes and we talk more about him later. You know, we talk about him now. Okay. I can remember times were rough, and all we had was us. Just then, it seems like years ago. I finally found the one for love. My search is overdone because. Loving this whole so wanted. You and I have grown through love. Special joys, only lovers know. Now you become my light. Shine on me, your light. We will All right, just in case you didn't know, tell them yeah. who that is, Ryan Nicole. Tell them why you're so happy. Oh, man, I'm so happy because oh, I'm happy for several reasons. But up in the corner there in one of the red shirts with the with uh, the, the gold necklaces on the outside. Which one? Probably, Curtis Blow or is Robert Charlie Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's more Roger leading. Okay, okay. Lee right. Peters is my uncle, and he is the lead singer of Collage, uh, mm -hmm. primary writer of that band, and wrote some phenomenal songs. Uh for for them, for the whispers, for Bobby Brown, um, yeah, That's just dope. the truth. And, and then on those backgrounds are my aunts, who are some of the quietest fires you'd ever meet. But my Amazing. aunt uh, 
uh, Patricia Peters and Susie now Gilliam, but was Peters at the time. Wow, nice. incredible! Nice. It, nice. That sounded very much like the Whispers could have sang that. Easily. Yeah, for sure. Easily. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I get it. I get it. You feel me? Wow. Lee one one more look at him right here. One more look. Yeah. They had there. like three, six, ten of them in that group, man. I wonder they didn't last too long. <laughs> it's expensive <laughs> band. So, I'm trying Let's, to figure out if you put that picture and everything. Up, can you tell me? So this is all star band. I see Nick Nolte. I see Barry Gibb. <laughs> <laughs> I see Machete. I see Machete. Yeah. I see, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's all. That's all. That's all. <laughs> it's like a young Dwayne the Rock Johnson on the oh, bottom. Yeah, I see Peter yeah. Mavia. Hey. Yeah, the Rock down there. The I tell world. you, brother. You didn't know. I tell you, brother. I guess you're in the Cow Palace, brother. <laughs> uh, but, but hence, hence the name Collage. I Hello. Yeah, 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 it all makes sense. There you there go. You There's go. a whole group of stars. And shout out, that's the Bay Area at its finest right there. Yeah. Yeah. Early, mm -hmm. early Bay Area, Sacramento, Connect. All right, Solar Records, the Sound of Los Angeles Records, was a label founded in 1977 by Dick Griffey, which reconstituted out of Soul Train Records two years after it was founded by Soul Train television host Don Cornelius. Mm -hmm. Right? So Solar began in 75. It became came from Soul Train. Wait, wait. It began in 75. Who put this What the up? notes say? What the notes say, man? Is? Solar began in 1975 with Soul Train Records founded by Dick Griffey. There you go. That, there go. And so in 77, it got started. So uh, Dick Griffey bought Don Cornelius out. Mm. Don Cornelius didn't think it was going to work. Mm. Gave him $300,000 so he could focus on Soul Train and was probably saying, damn it, the rest of his life. You know, so <laughs> mm -hmm. talk about it, D minor. Yeah, you know, I, th yeah, I'm sure he he was kicking himself in the head for that one, but I, I think, I, and and again, I don't know how tangible this story is, but I think he might have had some investment with Solar Records. I don't know, I could be wrong, but hmm. I think he might have had, you know, m not much, but maybe a, a small amount. Kept involved. his money, kept his money involved, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. He just didn't want to be a fifty fifty partner. Yes. That. Gotcha. Yeah. That, that's that's what I heard. I'm, how true that is, I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. All right. So you guys are telling me I'm freezing a little bit. So I'm gonna do this. I'm I'm gonna log out. Flash. What? You get the music going. Ryan Cole. Y'all pick up where I left off, and I'll be back so I can make sure there's no more uh, uh -oh. stammering oh. and stuttering. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully you don't carry go on without me. Got this. Carry on without me. Go ahead. Ominous dominus. All right. Here we go, y'all. Ominous dominus. Yeah, ominous dominus. Ominous <laughs> dominus. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So if I leave studio, that's not gonna knock you guys out. Is that's it? what I'm trying to figure know. out, man. I don't know. Yeah. Well, then forget it. We just have to deal with it. We can't yeah, it's a couple glitches. That's all. We'll, we'll act like we're like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he freezes, we freeze. Yeah. Pick me up, team. Pick me up, team. Yeah. Go ahead, Flash. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that one when I when I was in the clubs when that one came out. Believe it or not, children. Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. yeah. Big brother Uncle G was in the clubs when oh, that one came out. Oh, what are you doing? What was you doing, what was you doing Gerald? I was in. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Yeah, this all the way live was a new was a new phrase to us. We didn't know exactly what that meant, but we liked it. We knew it was all the way live. Baby. Yeah, all yeah, the way yeah, live. Yeah. Yeah. I can see it right now. You in a club with the angel flights. I can see it right now. <laughs> you know I was fresh to death back then, too. You I know it was, were, bro. Yeah. I'm sure you were, undoubtedly. Yeah, now, you guys, you talked about collage having... Naval. <laughs> right, all the way open. You talked <laughs> about collage having a million members. How many people were in Lakeside? 
Let's take another look here. Let's Too many see. people on that Nine, ten. Let's see. Uh, one, one, two, one three, four, five, for five sure. six, seven, eight. <laughs> I see there's ten of them right there. Ten. 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 Yeah. yeah. But they were, you know, they were a team. They grew up. They were, they started together, what, they were 15, 14 years old? Wow. Ago? And stayed yeah. together, same configuration? Um, Yeah, for the most part. And then they picked up uh, the percussionist. Um, he was from L.A. But, okay. yeah, Steve Shockley was from uh, mm. Chicago, born in Chicago, but grew up in, in Dayton. And pretty much like Mark Wood and the lead singer and Otis Stokes, everybody, they were all Dayton. So, wow. yeah, okay. so they, everybody stayed together. That's amazing. That's mm -hmm. a, that a lot of That song just wow. That yeah. song, it, it it was it was a monumental song because radio had to play it mm. in its entirety. Yeah. Because when it goes the guitar and then it goes into the percussion and it mm -hmm. changes tempo mm -hmm. and you but you if if they cut it off at three minutes you the phone lines will be blown up. <laughs> what are you right. doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And oh, yeah. all the high schools like. I remember Lincoln, Kevin Tennyson's on here. He can tell you for sure which, mm. what year it was. But I believe Lincoln High School's football team would come out to It's oh, All Real Live. That's yeah. a good one. I could see that. Yeah, it was. That was because because Flash didn't play the first part, the drums coming in. That is just, <laughs> yeah. it was just solid. Yeah. Mm. Nice. You, you know, I, I would have to say, I think it was a, you know, kind of similar to Leon's story. It was a blessing that uh, Norman Woodfill had his own idea of what they should be. Mm. Um, but because he basically wanted to write everything, he and his camp wanted to do everything. And mm. Lakeside was basically more mm. like, no, nah, we, we, we're we self-contained. And so, you know, I think when Dick Griffey kind of came in to help them out and you know, allowed them some creativity on one side of the album and then have Leon work with them. I think it was a good look. So mm -hmm. I think it was great that they passed up on that opportunity to go with Woodfield Records. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. It was a solid yeah. album. Yeah, it was. Solid it really album. was. Yeah, I think it's Pull My String on that album. I believe so. Yeah. 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 So, so it's Pull My Finger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Pull My Finger. <laughs> That's the interlude before. I guess it has to be said that pull my leg is on there as well. Right, so exactly. It has to be said. Triple now, Lakeside had a bunch of his too. I mean, we all know about that. Your love is on the one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's my joint. Raid. A party on the dance floor. That is and the biggest one they had was Fantastic Voyage. Yes, Man. yes, yes. That was yes. early on the R&B rap days kind of thing. The R&B yeah. rap days. And and if anybody saw Unsung like I did, you'll find out that Dick Griffey was the one who told them to put the rap at the beginning of the song. Yeah. Wow. Trust me. It'll be a hit, you know. Wow! So, wow! And, and that's that rap is um, as memorable as uh, the one from the Sugar Hill Gang, I would think. You know, everybody knows that rap. Yeah. CJ and I have, have, talk have, I want to hold your hand, also. From the CJ movie. and I disagree on "I Want to Hold Your Hand." What do you well, mean? I, yeah, I, I, you I, I got my feelings on that too. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I, I loved it. I loved no, it. I, I loved it that. as they as they. <laughs> see, oh. I, I could see Jerry's like, yeah, whatever, because <laughs> because they started it off. I could totally look. doing a cover, and then it right. slowed it down and broke it down. It was like, yeah. oh, no. you uh, like that? I need to hear it. I need to hear it now. No, you know when you would see them in concert and they're doing all these jams, the Fantastic Voyages, Raid, it's yeah. all the way live, and all of a sudden they're doing a Beatles remake. Yeah, mm. but, I think but, was... but they slowed it down. Yeah, so yeah. It starts mm -hmm. off with the Beatles. Oh, girl, I man, mm -hmm. tell you something, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. You know they do that, and then it mm -hmm. breaks. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. Man, oh, 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 I just want to hear Russ's version. Go ahead, Russ. <laughs> yeah, that, was it. that was it. That's all you get. <laughs> yeah, I think that was, that was Mark Wood's idea. Mark, the lead singer. It was, brilliant. Uh, it was brilliant. Captain yeah, Mark Wood. Because he was a big Paul McCartney fan. Mm -hmm. And I think he wanted to go go along with that and, and do something in tribute to yeah, Paul Nobody McCartney had done anything deal. like that with the. No. And I don't think anybody until. The best of Earth, Wind, and Fire was yeah. the next, time, next time somebody from R and B covered um, the Beatles. The Beatles? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Which is ironic because the Beatles were covering everybody else's songs, that's how they like artist yeah. songs, 
Yep. And now all of a sudden, a couple of black artists are covering their song. How yeah. about that? Do it right. You said you're right. Yeah. If it's Tuesday, that must mean that IRT is live is on, and you're watching us. Me and the whole gang is here. I'm Jerry. Hi. I see Dave Flash, Ryan Nicole, Big Russ, and D Minor is in here today because he's just a Brown Tanica on Solar Records, who we are talking about tonight. <laughs> Keep it going, Flash. <laughs> Electricity real is right here in the socket. Talk about real love, baby. Right in the socket. Hey, yeah, the kind that drives me crazy. Yeah, right in the socket. Yeah, I've been this way before when other guys like on my front door. You even shot me on the dance floor. Just a real live wire. Really spent the night on fire. You know how to satisfy my desire. Any other way. Oh, sing it then. Don't be mind. You got to take the microphone with you everywhere you go, man. <laughs> Yeah, that's a my guy to McDonald's. I'd like to All right, let's talk about Shalimar, man. Who wants to kick that off? I got a question to start off. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. What happened to the first lead singer? Mm. Okay, Come so. On. There was a lead singer that was there, and matter of fact, um, I, uh, his name is Gary. Um, Jerry. Oh, was it Gary? That was it yeah. Gary or Jerry? Yeah, I think it was. It was either Gary or Jerry. Yeah. It wasn't uh, Gerald. Yes. Yeah. No. No. Well, yeah, Gerald. Well, yeah, Gerald Brown, who was the first song that we played from the Soul Train Gang. Mm -hmm. um, he joined Shalimar, but he was promised in a, a solo career. Oh wow! And Dick would work with him, but he said he needed him to. You know work on this situation that we have called shalimar mm. so and that's when they did take that to the bank and toss mm. it and turn and stay close to love the disco gardens album mm. so mm. when they went on tour uh dick was saying well where where's the money mm. and so uh there was no money and everything that they were doing was all promotional so they were on a promotional tour so uh, Gerald abruptly just left the group and mm. I think he was kind of asking for some more money because you know Jody and Jeffrey were dancers and he was a little bit more seasoned mm -hmm. so this guy who was almost going to sign the Motown Records called Howard Hewitt it mm -hmm. came out from uh, Ohio and he was doing some stuff and Motown had a um, office in the same building that Solar was in and uh, Howard was from uh, Jody, Jeffrey was familiar with Howard. Leon was familiar with Howard. And so um, Howard was in a meeting. And basically what happened was um, he was in a meeting with Motown Records. So somebody called and Howard said, hey, if that's my lady. Tell him, tell her I'll, I'll, I'll call her back. And he said, no, no, no. Hmm. It's Jeffrey Daniels. You need to go upstairs to Solar Records. Oh, OK. So Dick Griffey said, um, Leon and Jeffrey said that you can sing. Cool. Sing something, and he sung "Fill the Fire" by People Bryson. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Stop right there." Yeah. Here's five hundred dollars. Yeah. Here's a, here's a ticket. You need to go out to New York. You're gonna go on the Diane uh, Short. Um, um, Diana Diana Short. Diana Short. Diana Short. Yeah. And um, you're gonna go and um, lip sync to take that to the bank. So what? our first performance with Shalimar was with was take that to the bank, and Damn. he lip sync on that and now how that happened yeah they heard him sing feel the fire and they were like you're gonna lip sync that's dick griffey yeah <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and basically and gerald was blackballed from oh, the industry wow. because he basically abruptly just left and mm. and and because dick was going to actually make him a solo artist and mm. it's interesting with gerald leaving Second time around, right in the socket. Mm -hmm. Those songs were meant for Gerald, not Howard. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. So if you ever talk to Howard, Howard does not like second time around because it's mm -hmm. very disco-like. Mm -hmm. So that's so and, and so those songs were originally for Gerald. Wow. Howard. Well done there. See, Thank well done. You. Now, let me let me let me throw a couple of things in here real quick. First of all, I want to shout out Bobby Whitaker, who's the man behind 
uh, Soul TV, and he's uh, he also loves the show as well himself. So thank you, Bobby, for getting us across the pond. Yes, and sir. thank you for watching every week. He loves the show. Man. Trying to give him my queenly wave. <laughs> well, he's in Vegas. He's in Las Vegas. Oh, so, oh. You know, do him oh. one of these. What's up, dude? Yeah, or something. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got to go back a little bit because the Facebook user happens to be Davey D. He was talking about Lakeside, and ah. so whenever Davey D jumps in, we got to talk about Davey D. Mm -hmm. Since it's the thing about Lakeside is that it has so many songs that many strutted and poppers danced to that there used to be a, a Booyah tribe, okay? Mm, mm. Jerry, do you even know what the Booyah tribe is? No, I do not. I'm just okay. reading stuff. Right. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's back up a bit. CJ, CJ can know. You're get us CJ. all beat up if you mispronounce the Booyah, <laughs> Booyah tribe. Did I say Booyah? I said Booyah. You said it right, but you got to make sure. It... I can read. Yeah. I was the second grade spelling yeah. champ, you know? The, so the, the, but... the Booyah tribe was a Polynesian rap group that could also be their own bodyguard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, said, yeah. you said Polynesian, say less, uh, yes. rap group. Yeah, say less. And they, they were, were dope. Their, they were their yeah. own band and their own bodyguard. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They were dope. The wow. Booyah okay. tribe was, they had their own oh. little minute, you know. I say in that space of the Booyah tribe, Booyah tribe and the Jets. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. You got it but it was all. it was cool to see the Booyah tribe perform though. Yeah. They yeah. they, they yeah. had energy. They had a lot yeah, of yeah. Oh, they had so yeah. much energy, dude. It was yeah. crazy. It was cool. Man, they were jumping off the top rope. They were <laughs> <laughs> they had energy. And it was uh, it was a real because they would step like a fraternity yeah. step. Yeah. You know, uh, and yeah. They were they were dope. Well they had yeah. those hits. I, yeah. They would pop. Yeah. They would get That's it in. Tight. So. That's yeah. tight. Yeah. Okay. They were out there in Dickies doing yeah. their thing, bro. <laughs> wow. Look up it. the Booyah tribe. Do you I know? was going to say, there's, there's got to be some video on YouTube or something about these yes, guys. I think yes. they were signed to Fourth and Broadway. I mm. think. I think you're right. The yellow, yellow mm. and pink. Yeah. yeah I think yeah, they were signed to Fourth and Broadway. Broadway. Yeah. Booyah mm -hmm. tribe. Oh, was it sleeping? No. It wasn't sleeping bag. You're, you're right. You're right. Might have been you're right. Right. Fourth and Broadway. Yeah, Fourth and Broadway. Okay, with new, right. nuance. Oh yeah, they were serious. Yeah. These cats are massive. They not. <laughs> oh no. Mm -mm. Oh lord, I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> you said they're massive. <laughs> yeah. This brother's massive. Yeah. I so mean, they, it's no. Yeah. So now they hired. So let me tell you a story. So uh -oh. they hired me to be a bodyguard. Did they? Paula, I was gonna say you gonna be a no, they, they didn't. Oh. For Paula Abdul. Okay. And the Booyah tribe was opening. <laughs> so I show up to go to work and I'm like, What's <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm finished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they were mad cool. They're all really super cool dudes. For y'all who don't know or who haven't got your Googles on, one of these cats makes big pun look like petite pun. Oh, like, <laughs> 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 big cat. <laughs> I'm not even going to say any jokes about these guys, just oh, in case one no, of them is listening. I'm not. No even shade, gonna, yeah, no shade. Yeah, dude. Just in case that. somebody's listening, I'm not even going to. Uh -uh, they're, no. they're mad cool though. I they're love it. Oh yeah, Super no cool. shade, no shade. Super cool. Yeah. All right. Even if they weren't cool, I'd be here. Yeah, they were mad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And see, for those for those of y'all who are just watching, Booyah. that's what we do. That's what we do on IRTSI. We can go from Dinosaur to the Booyah Tribe. <laughs> boom, boom. Just Thanks like for that. listening. <laughs> Let's get some more music going from Solar Brackets. Go ahead, Flash. Show me where you're coming from. Talk about it, Flash. Come on, Flash. Talk about it. Miss Carrie Lucas. Miss yeah. Carrie Lucas. Miss Carrie Lucas. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Miss Carrie Lucas yeah. right there. Yeah, man. It was a I love that record. I love mm -hmm. that record, man. But she is uh she married Dick Griffey. Yeah. And they had a daughter, Carolyn. Mm -hmm. And Carolyn is the one that we saw in Shalimar 
two point. Shalamar 2.0. Yeah. Was it Shalamar 2.0? I reloaded. Reloaded. Yeah. Mm. Unloaded. (laughs) 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 You know what? We can say that. No no Booyah tribe members were in there. Right, right. (laughs) But uh, we really were pushing for Shalamar. It just looked like they were very unrehearsed. Mm. That's Mm. what it looked like. Mm. And it felt like that. It just Mm. felt disjointed. That's yeah. bad. We wanted them to, we were pushing for them. And this was at Stone Soul a few years ago. Oh, okay. We really, really pushing for them. Like, yeah, man, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. We want Jody to be in the group, but she's not there. But it just, it, yeah. it just wasn't. It didn't come together. Huh? Yeah. That's too just bad. Wasn't. They'd have been better off getting Mickey free out there. <laughs> just a dead giveaway. <laughs> I, remember, I remember that one. I remember That's that giveaway. Sweet. So, uh, uh, Miss, um, <laughs> Carrie Lucas, Miss Lucas, I was doing two, 10 different things over here. I'm producing the show as well, everybody. <laughs> Miss Lucas, like you said, is, is the wife. Of, of Mr. Griffey, and she's still mm-hmm. holding it down. We saw that yeah. again on the Unsung. So, yeah. and I did some research and all. And so, I guess what they do from time to time, they do a a, a Solar Records Club event where there's oh. some of them that go out and they'll just be in the club. And so, if you look on her or Solar Records Facebook page, you got tons of pictures. I guess of hidden clubs down in LA, and looks like they're having a lot of fun if you ever oh, want to go fun. to one of those events. Yeah. You know, so that's fun. keep the people happy. Do they Let's play look, live or are they just there? Uh, that I couldn't. Tell. I could just. Uh, yeah, I can't tell you that. I couldn't okay. tell you that. I just okay. saw them like some solo mics on the stage and dancing with the audience, but I didn't notice a band or nice. did not notice a band. So. Fun. But they're out there doing their thing. Let's say hello to some more people that have joined us. Simone Jackson says hello. Hey. Uh, Marvisha. Hey, hey. Marvisha. What's happening? Uh, I told you David D was in here. I told you yeah. Bobby Whitaker is in here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, Sheila D is still there. Kim Batista is still there. And uh, we are still here. We are playing the music of Solar Records. It's IRTS Live. I'm Jerry Dove. CJ Flash is all on you. Let's go. Let's get lit. What? <laughs> oh yeah. Let's get lit. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. All right, Dynasty. Dynasty. Yeah. Well, the one. Uh, oh, well, yeah. well, ahead, well, Mr. Dove, that picture that you just posted up, uh, that was okay. uh the one in the red, the young lady in the red. That's Leon's. That was Leon's first wife. Oh. Nadia. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nadia. Yeah. And uh, she did a lot of the, well, they, well, essentially this group right here, they did a lot of the, uh, the music for obviously for dynasty, but obviously for, for Shalimar for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is uh, something special, but yeah. um, That's Atlanta, the music adventures, Atlanta music. Yes. A beautiful song. You can hear Leon stamp all over all it. Over it that. sounds like an, an incarnation of the Silvers. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. The harmonies and the, the vocal arrangements. Totally. And, yeah. The Silvers grew up. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, yeah, yeah that, and that was the thing too, because um, if you go back and look at the uh, the album cover for that uh, for that particular song, mm-hmm. um, you see Kevin Kevin Spencer, who, Kevin who's Spencer. lead singer, yeah. and uh, who wrote a lot of that stuff with Leon too. Yeah. Um, and you see uh, his wife, and then you see the other young lady, mm. and then you see it. And if you notice, there's a foot 
and that foot is supposed to be Leon. And so <laughs> the story behind that is that as Leon kind of, I guess, uh, left or he got relieved of his duties from his from the Silvers, he was still in the contract with uh, with Al Ross, um, um, who was the uh, the manager for the Silvers. And mm. so Dick had got him out the contract, but I think he might have been. I don't know how long the the, the contract was, but um, he couldn't he he couldn't be in the group. He couldn't be like part of it because he was I in between. See. So, I see. so wow. he was there for the performances, but he couldn't actually be on the album cover just yet because his contract was. <laughs> was not so brown tannica yeah. talking about foot. Okay, he talking said about his foot. foot. I'm gonna put my yeah, foot so in there. Yeah, so <laughs> you look at that. Yeah, his foot is there. One foot uh, yeah, it so sure is. Yeah. Well, half his body is kind of there, but not his <laughs> yeah, head. Right. Yeah. Oh, he can't really <laughs> see. <laughs> and then we also got this scene was so good. That's amazing. Uh, I don't want to be a freak, but I can't oh. help myself. Bruh. I just I Bruh. just begun to love you as my Bruh. joint. Bro, we ain't got there yet. Mm. Bruh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Joint. I'm sorry, bro. I gotta I jump ahead of the music yeah. director. My bad. I just I want to shout out Sheila the Diva, who's been dropping facts after facts after facts consistently in the chat. Quietly, mm -hmm. she's like she's a she's a brown tanica out there. She's a yeah. Wikipedia. Well, she is. People don't she's know a, that the, the, the S and Solar is from Sheila. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> I don't know that. Definitely. <laughs> mm. Mm. And her husband, her husband Kevin says that's William Shelby in the red shirt. Yes. Yes. Yeah, uh, so yeah. We'll take, and, we'll and, take and, one more look since everybody's talking about that picture so much. It's him in the red right there. Kevin yeah. Spencer's on the end. Rest and Leon and, in the middle. And William's brother is Thomas Shelby from Lakeside, and and William had later joined uh, uh, Lakeside, the original Lakeside, I should say, because mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. uh, two incarnations of it. Mm -hmm. I yeah. hope everybody's taking notes because there will be a quiz after this show is over. <laughs> You're gonna have to remember dinosaur feet. Uh, <laughs> booyah tribes and all that right, stuff. Right. <laughs> Say it again, Jim. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do it. You gonna catch one, bro? <laughs> booyah tribe. We'll catch your fate. Don't we'll don't catch, catch one, one from them. Catch you won't. Booyah. Won't get you up. Will not, you will not recover. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be worth their time. I'm not. I'm too late. <laughs> what point would they be proven to knock me around? You're right. It's not. Nice. It's not even, come on, fellas. Come on. We already know. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the, that's Believe like that. I'm telling you every time you keep messing with me. What point would I have to, <laughs> to steal on you like this, bro? Let me tell you something. I never had a fight in my, my life. Elders. Never had a fight in my life, and it's because I use it like, bro, come on. I know, bro. You're bigger than me. You better quit messing with me. I, I ain't cool. I'm no punk. I'll knock you back to prohibition with that hat. Prohibition, <laughs> come on. You better quit come messing on. with me. It's clean, though. It's clean. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's it's much. <laughs> Flash. I'm sorry, Stop laughing and play some more music. Oh, I got you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Having so much fun, I love that. Oh, yeah, man. that's it's uh, a, it's that eighty, music, yeah. 1981. Yes, yes, good post disco, good fun music. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Silvers, mm -hmm. the Motown of the eighties. Go ahead, talk about the Silvers now. Well, can yeah. I just say? Can I just say really quickly? I mean, I'm I'm a fan of this show. I'm learning. I'm really a student of this show. Um, but what I know for sure is that the Silvers don't get enough love, yeah. like yeah. just at all between. Yeah. The, the from their inception all the way through there's just such great production there mm -hmm. such good you know just good uh journeying through the music nothing ever sounds the same it always goes somewhere else yeah. uh you know somewhere unexpected and there's always such a lightness to the music 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, yeah, they're such a signature fingerprint that they didn't uh, seem not like a kid group. They weren't right. No, no, they, no. Right. they, were, they were never they really a kid group. Yeah. Just so advanced because we, we were kids, and but yeah. they didn't seem like. Yeah. Yeah, even with high school dance and stuff, you know, no. they just didn't seem like a kid. <laughs> they were grown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Foster made it sound like a more like a kid. He was along the Michael lines mm-hmm. uh, yeah. mm-hmm. when he did Mr. Meaner, but mm-hmm. but as a group, the Silvers never really sounded like children. Yeah. You, you think paradise. that was in their advantage or to their disadvantage? Uh, it, I think it was to their advantage. It, yeah. Because they, cause they looked like us. But they didn't sound like us, right, you know what I mean. Right. So they, it, they just were more mature than they than they appeared to be, and that just, that's a credit to the genius of of how he was putting the, all the music together. Yeah, because you know? um, he's he's an old he's an old soul, mm-hmm. and he was putting all that stuff together, and it, it really worked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On the flip side of that, then the record company might not know what to do with him. That's what I think for sure. Yeah, and I think that was the case with that because. Keg Johnson had even realized uh, the late great Keg Johnson Johnson who worked with them early he realized when he heard Fool's Paradise mm-hmm. he just threw all his records and stuff that he had in mind for them away because mm-hmm. he saw it and mm-hmm. and I think you know when the boogie fever and the hot lines started to kind of die down for them and then here comes the new horizons and mm-hmm. diamonds are rare things mm-hmm. like that it was really able to get them in a whole nother stratosphere but mm-hmm. uh cj uh you're, you're absolutely right about that i think labels weren't really able they don't i don't think they knew what to do with them right. especially like a casablanca yeah gonna get there yeah so, but yeah mm-hmm. but i think when they got to solar with that song that you just you just played mm-hmm. getting over i think that was that was great yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. and it, it must be said that pound per pound they had more hair than any family <laughs> in america poor mama poor mama every single one of them had the big hair the good hair yeah. every single one of them a lot of broken combs in that house Man. Man. well a couple of years back we actually um we had, had angie silvers and and bunny the barge on and mm. bunny oh, wow. had, Bunny had kind of alluded to saying, like, we would have, we can definitely hear us as the barge doing some of their stuff with Leon mm-hmm. at the helm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like the, the, the harmonies. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, they were just saying that we could have, I think if I, if I could be wrong, but I think she said, especially the Shalimar stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Done some stuff with that. She's mm-hmm. like, uh, y'all messed mm-hmm. up. <laughs> yeah. Y'all fumbled mm-hmm. the rock on that one. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. I think is. that's right. I think that's, that's spot interesting. On. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that would have so, been crazy. That yeah, the bar should have worked with that. Would have been that would have been a hell of a marriage. The bar yeah. and, and Leon Silver. Yeah. Oh, wow. that's one thing that the barge was missing. They never really had an up tempo hit. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. You know right. what? The, what uh, rhythm of the wear, night can't really count. rhythm of the night. But that was oh god, can't I hate that, that song. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hated all that. I hated rhythm of the night. Who's Johnny? Dude. Who's Johnny? Yeah. Who's holding all that Johnny sounds like all night long and Who's dancing on the steel. Yeah, I'm cool yeah. with all that. Yeah. The only one from that era, which was a little past that, was uh, you wear it well. I like that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was that was smooth. That was dope. Gone with the best. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been yeah. a crazy, crazy. They couldn't climate. dance, so a lot of the bars they couldn't dance. No, they couldn't. None really? of them. No, <laughs> they, <couldn't dance>. no. <laughs> they, they, they looked they, like they were skipping up and down the street. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not dance. Everybody can't do it. Everybody can't do it. Look at Splash. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but that but that Silver song that you just played, getting over. I think that was the ticket to the top album, and um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the only thing they did on on uh, Solar, Solar, but it, yeah. But what was interesting about it, Edmund, who was their their principal lead singer, had left and to pursue a solo career. Mm. And it was interesting because Foster was pretty much singing pretty much everything, mm-hmm. you know, with the exception of whatever the girls had did. But the horns that came from the Callaway Brothers, um, mm. and we heard some horns in there. But listening to that album. It sounds like stuff that the Whispers could have done. Yeah, he's collage could have done easily. Uh, 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 Dynasties, mm-hmm. Shalimar, like it's it, it, in all respects. It just seemed like whatever they didn't do, we, we're just going to do it on the on the Silvers. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Uh, but mm-hmm. it was a it was a solid album though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Leon that ticket to the top. Oof, Leon Stamp. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Leon stamp. For sure. Put your stamp on another one there, CJ.
is not like the walk Cause this time you're wearing blue jeans You roll your left leg slow Let your body go And do a little sexy scream Jam this party out Make your body sweat and shout A visual sex machine We're talking body talk Uh, <laughs> jiggle. Yeah. That was a jiggle. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Nice, nice. I like that one a lot, man. I yeah. like that one yeah. a lot. Bobby Whitaker, 15 years old on that song in the basement. Bobby, I was on my breaker board at this time. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yes. Mmm, mmm, the snake, the whole thing. Oh, no, and I was already like, out. I yeah, was already out like, drinking with my those? uncles. Yes. Mm, mm. <laughs> I was out drinking with my uncles when the song was on. Were you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the clubs, come on, man. Come That's on. a jam right there. That's a jam. Yes, it mm -hmm. is. It still sounds good. Still sounds good. That was kind of like operator part two. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which yes. is weird though, because it's not. It's. It was totally. It was totally the deal. Yeah. yeah. You know, this was the song they got their demo. This was their demo. Yeah. You know, uh, it was. This is what they were, what they were saying. This is when they were kind of fighting against the time mm -hmm. in their mind. Although it wasn't a fight at all, mm -hmm. but they were fighting <laughs> against the time. Um, and but they were fighting against the time. But they were all in that little we're chasing Minneapolis type of yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and I think um, what was the term they use? Oh, they. Breed. That was that was what they would call themselves with the makeup and the hair. Oh, yeah. That was your your breed, new breed. You oh. you weren't breed enough. Yeah. Oh, which is why they didn't have why Babyface wasn't in the group in the beginning because they said he wasn't breed enough. He wasn't breed enough. What uh, does that even mean? Like he didn't well, have it because it, they were like new wave, but but the new breed. That's that's how they yeah. were trying to, yeah. to do it, and they were, they were saying they were breed. That was yeah. the whole. That was their term, and they're in where they where in, what part of Ohio were they in? Very mean girls. I don't know. Sounds yeah, like they were. Uh, Dayton. I think it was Dayton. No, 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 no. I think they were Cincinnati. What they is were Cincinnati? Cincinnati? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So they were saying, that, you know, that was their whole thing of, of, of what their little clique. That's their whole vibe. Yeah. No, Kenny, you're not breed enough. Yes. <laughs> they said it like that. Yes. <laughs> you're not breed enough. No. Hand me my foundation. Right. Hand me my, my fifty. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it sounds like fighting words to me. I don't know. Right. <laughs> but it's it, I mean, but it's crazy though how the, the tables had kind of turned because you had Carlos and and, and D who were mm -hmm. the, the, the lead singers and then mm -hmm. it comes the sweet Novembers and mm -hmm. two occasions. Mm -hmm. those, those became more Mm -hmm. More, more baby face mm -hmm. in L.A. and and Daryl Simmons too. We let's yeah, not forget for about sure. Daryl Simmons because he KO. was there. He, he was in a deal. And Ko. And K. And yeah, and Ko too, and stuff yeah. like that. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, one thing I did notice about the deal was that everybody, everybody's name was just one name. <laughs> so, it, it, so baby face had to you know do some yeah, some new syllables. Yeah, yeah, well. Thanks to a guy named Bootsy Collins. I was gonna say that was a rumor. Bootsy Collins gave Bootsy him that Collins name. gave him that yeah. name. Is he that right? Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ah, interesting. Who's that man with the baby face? Baby face. <laughs> baby face. Baby face. <laughs> baby face. Oh, yeah. Stand yeah. oh yeah. Say it. Stand <laughs> exactly. Couldn't stand oh, yeah. the name until some women came over and was like, uh. Is baby face around? Oh, <laughs> it's like he's like right here. Now you, now you, now you, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, it's no crime. Yeah. Yeah. Face had some great albums with them too. Yeah. I remember uh, meeting him one time. He came up to the station, just a real quiet, low key guy. Yeah, and uh, but he loved uh, movies. He's like you, Ross. Mm -hmm. He loved movies, mm -hmm. and he was with his writing partner. Tell me his yeah. name. Daryl Simmons. Daryl Simmons, Simmons, right? Simmons. So Daryl Simmons and Babyface came to the studio. Daryl was so low key, he didn't even say who he was. Hmm. I'm just hanging out. I'm just hanging out with Kim, you know. So, <laughs> so they were doing the interview. So doing the commercial, I said, "Look, you guys like movies? Oh, like, yeah, their eyes just lit up." Hmm. So me and Daryl went down to my office, and I had this big old prize closet, <laughs> and I must have gave them like this, this Karen like that. And I'm like, "Damn, ah. so you like movies, huh, bro?" He said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." It's, you know. I said, well, what do you do? You with the band? He says, well, you know, I do a little bit. Said, What's your name? What's your name? Daryl. I said, well, Daryl, 
Are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, damn, bro. Why just? I said, man. He said we just write songs to get girls. That's all we did back in the day was writing songs to get girls. That's all hey. we cared about. You know? Mission so, accomplished. Mission, yeah, mission accomplished. accomplished. Yeah. But when Face hit that stage, when he hit that stage, he's all over the place. He had a lot more yeah. energy than you would have expected. He does, yeah. And yeah. once he starts doing that compilation of all the songs, I bet you didn't know I wrote this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Blows right. your way. And yeah. exposing the taco meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And the dad, yeah, the dad bod. That. The dad bod. The dad bod, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> do it. It's a trip that he... that. You know his his love for movies. He actually went right into soundtracks and then started producing movies. You yeah, know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, matter of fact, Ryan, I was going to oh. mention this to you the other night when we were at the Grand Lake. Guess it was sitting behind us. Oh. Baby face, Haviland. Oh, no. Haviland. What? Yeah. No, uh, no, yeah. you no, are you serious? Yes. What? No, she was there. Oh yes. my god, I was going to. Oh, wow, that's right. Whatever, Haviland. Did you say it to him? <laughs> Whatever. I, I didn't say it to her. I was going to. She, oh. she seemed like she just wanted to be, oh, like, you know, wow. she was low key. To her yeah. own. That's is she? Right. Is she? She's not from the Bay Area. Though, I don't know. I don't know. But Maybe she, she was, lives in the Bay Area. She was straight sitting right behind. I was like, whatever. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> she was. There. You know what's funny is because I saw her and I was like, she looks wow. familiar. But there was everybody we knew. I mean, yeah. was in the theater that night. Yeah. You know, so I'm like, of course she, she was there. Familiar. Yep, That's she a sure trip. Was. Half, wow. half yep. plenty, y'all. Half plenty. That, that, half plenty. I love that movie. Yes. Lee Plenty. That yeah. movie is, is underrated. It, it is. is. It, it really is. It, the, Lee Plenty. I yeah. swear, I wore out my VHS. The part <laughs> where where dude took his shirt off in the kitchen, and you're like, damn. He socked him in the stomach. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> Great soundtrack too, y'all. Yes yes yes. yes, 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 yes. Oh, this and a cameo, cameo yeah, with, uh, with Tracy and Babyface at the end. That's right. That's yeah, right. yeah. Uh, Lloyd Lloyd Banks was Babyface's name in there. I think it was wow. Lloyd Banks. Your memory was is really? something else, think, D minor. Yeah. Thank you. Encyclopedia. So, I think no his name way. was Lloyd Banks. Oh, oh wow, that's crazy! Wow, that's hilarious! That's crazy. All right, all right. <laughs> but let's get back to this show. <laughs> We're talking about Solar <laughs> Records. Go ahead, Flash. Give us some more. Ever. I knew I was looking good. I had my Kenneth Cole shoes on, my Gianni Versace blue leather suit. My nails were done, and my hair was fierce. fierce. I was riding in a Cooper's limousine. Don't you want to ride? I was at home feeling so easy. So I went down to the speakeasy. I was my feet. At the door, I had all the tension from the dance floor. Check me out. Ooh, I love this song. <laughs> I would have lost a five dollar bet. Yeah. How what? You didn't because know. I always thought they were on MCA. Oh, I remember that record being on MC. I do not remember that record being on, on Solar. I would have lost a five dollar bet. Oh man, yeah. I should have bet you. Should have bet, bet, bet you. Should have bet you too. Darn it. Yeah, yeah Ryan, we should have bet him. We should have bet him. We could have been up five, man. Jeez. Climax, Climax is a great group. That song and a meeting in the ladies' room. I love it. Will be played forever and ever and ever it's and so ever. Yeah, and the slow song. Happy. The slow yeah, song. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. Yes, I miss you. That's right. That's, that's right. actually their biggest hit. Is I miss you. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Is. Mm -hmm. I, love I it. swear, yeah. I would have lost a five dollar bet right here and now. I, mm -mm, I never. <laughs> Mm -mm. I don't Kim even has a quick question. Exactly, Kim. I always thought it was about menopause. Menopause. <laughs> 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 it's funny because Dick Griffey thought the same thing. Did he? Mm -hmm. see? Yeah, he did. Menopause. Menopause. And then she talked about, <laughs> about walking to the room. Yeah. Menopause. It happens. Mm. <laughs> it but happens. she said she was at a speakeasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was feeling with speak. leather on. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Kenneth Cole's and her Versace, yeah. her Gianni Versace. Speak easy. Okay. I love the Kenneth Cole line. That cracks me up. <laughs> Cooper's very limousine. Cool, very cool songs. I think um, 
I, I think that back in those days, I, I liked it so much. I said, if you kids came down from the moon and wanted to hear what soul music was sounding like back in those yeah. days, mm-hmm. you play one of those for them because they had the catchphrases, had the funky beats, yeah. you could okay. dance to it. Right. Good looking. I mean, for that, for our time, it was a good looking video at the time. You have all the aliens walk around slapping people. Yeah. You know, <laughs> right. Because I'm not in the mood, you know. Fierce. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby, I love that song. song. It's yeah, hilarious. Baby. So mm-hmm. cocky. So and the meeting in the ladies' room too. I love that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think. Um, let's see about which one I liked it bad, the most. I think I might have to go meeting in the late. If I had to pick one of the two, mm-hmm. meeting in the ladies' room. Mm-hmm. Okay, I probably agree with you on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't hear but, but my hear opinion doesn't ones. matter because I'm thinking it's the wrong label. It's the wrong label, mm. anyway. <laughs> okay, maybe I know I gotta look this up. I <laughs> thought they were on MCA all this time. In my head, I'm seeing this label as MCA. Look it up. Look well, I'm it. looking at it right now. I know you're looking at it, fool. Okay, you know, we got a show to do. Somebody gotta be paying attention to the show. All <laughs> right, do hey. Do your thing. I'm over here. Yeah, I, I, I got okay. you. I, we I'm can't all here. all of a sudden we're yeah. all on our phone while people no, are looking at on us on our phone. You know, so I'm actually Climax was something special though because uh they they were able to they were self-contained. Uh I mean they they had some support from uh Jimmy and Terry earlier and mm-hmm. uh as Jimmy and Terry were trying to learn and find and figure their way mm. uh you know and then meeting in the ladies' room, Steve Shockley and Reggie Calloway mm-hmm. uh, were, were involved in that. They had a hand on that one. Mm. Reggie nice. Galloway, who has been a guest on our show in the past. Yes, we had a good yes. time with him. Reginald. Yes, sir. <laughs> Go ahead, Flash. Keep it coming. Wait, 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 Joyce Fenderella Irby, uh-huh. Judy Takuchi, Lorena Shelby, Lynn Malsby, Rain Jackson, Robin Greider, <laughs> Terry Lynn Carrington. No Where way. You, there's no way she was in this band. No way. Where do you I think see she might have been there early. I'm on Discogs right now. Mm. Terry Lynn Carrington. There's really? no way. That'd be crazy. She was in it. Oh my God. Well, no she was there was early. So I'm right. Okay. Okay, I miss you was on MCA. Thank I knew I, I, I was miss right. You was on MCA. I knew I was right. Okay. I knew okay. I was right. Yeah. This is crazy about Terry Lynn Carrington. Take that, though. Brown Tanica. <laughs> <laughs> but you cannot have your five dollars back now. But it, was, but it was a label. It was an imprint deal constellation on MCA. Okay, mm-hmm. gotcha. I knew I was right. I knew I was right. I, all right, I feel better. Look at, look at him all happy with himself. I, I am. I'm thrilled. <laughs> I, I'm right. usually an idiot. I'm like, well, I, 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 I remember. I saw it. Yeah. All, right. All, right. all right. Go ahead, Flash. Big favorite groups from the 80s, the Midnight Star. Yes, yes. Big, 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 big part of Solar Records. My goodness. Man, big part of the 80s. Yes. Yeah. Come oh, on. Oh, man. This Hello, is good. good looking. Hello, good looking. Is this is just cooking? Cooking. <laughs> <laughs> the Midnight nice, Star. Man. We're going to play mine. <laughs> <laughs> the R. Yes. Oh man. I see what you did. Nice spot. You hit me in the face with all these samples. Thank you. <laughs> this not oh. dedicated this one from the county jail. Kim said, I'm, I'm yeah. curious, Kim. Wow. You, you want to know what's on your mind? He got you time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from the county jail. <laughs> <laughs> 
He wasn't in yeah, there too long. Well, look, they had a ton of hits. Okay, we're talking no parking on the dance floor. Yeah, we yeah. Should keep going with Midnight okay. Star. They they got they got slow jam well slow jam mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> they got mm -hmm. there's so many great songs man mm -hmm. I mean dude, that was a great great group and and when we had Reggie on last year and I've been trying to get him back ever since uh, we didn't even get halfway through no. yeah. his 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 mm -hmm. stuff man we so need to scratch the surface back. yeah well, well he did a lot of work with a lot of other people too go ahead go ahead but it it took a while for for Midnight Star to really come about to really come into their own and. Uh, Harvey Mason had worked with them in the beginning. And then uh, Leon, Leon <laughs> Silvers uh, actually had worked with them. And, um, but it just, even with Leon's Genesis Qua, it just, it didn't work. And, right. um, and, and so, and uh, I think what, what really worked for, for Reggie and them was well, to go back girl. home. That's you. <laughs> they didn't get they didn't, they didn't have a hit till they till they invented the Jerry Curl. Did they invent it? <laughs> <laughs> did, 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 did you did you sneak in a Genesis Quad in there? Did you sneak yeah, in? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Wow, look Ooh. at that. Look at those curls. Goodness. And you had ready for the world too. <laughs> Some scary curls in there for sure. <laughs> she, <laughs> full is, force. she is the only one without a Jerry curl. Belinda. Yeah. And they yeah. all got a kind of off center part to it too, don't they? Yeah, they do. The side like that, man. All bald headed at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's a lot of work. A lot of product. A lot of product. A lot of product. Right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to tell them, okay, stage time was at eight. You got to tell them about about four o'clock. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll be yeah, out in a moment. Because all y'all going to take oh, your yeah. time to get ready. But, yeah. but they had some great music, man. I love yeah, that. You know how most bands have a fog machine? They had <laughs> activator <laughs> coming out. Mm. You got to keep it moist. Keep it moist. Okay, remember, <laughs> remember, I said, remember I said, I want to get Reggie back on now. So okay, don't, don't, okay. No, he going to come back on. He know he's, <laughs> look, we, this is all, look, we telling the truth. We just look. <laughs> He knows he, he he is bald too, isn't he? The last time he had his bald. Yeah. No, he's no, he's he still got a cut. It's you know, I mean he still got the little okay glaze going on. <laughs> okay, okay. Him imagine. and his brother. <laughs> he got a process. <laughs> his brother, they they, oh, they had so many hits. Yeah, they so yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. many hits. And yeah. they were all just and, and and it wasn't they all didn't sound the same. Mm -hmm. No, it's true. Richard Zoy sounds nothing like Wet My Whistle, you know. No, or it, Midas I mean, Touch. Midas yeah, touch. exactly. Yeah. You know? No um, parking on the dance floor. Mm -hmm. Operator. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Electricity. That was a joint. That's my yeah, joint. That, that is true. Electricity was a joint. Mm -hmm. Now, can I can I ask the music director to do something for me? Yes, you may. <laughs> yes. Can can you cut up electricity for me real quick, bro? Oh, Be serious? Thing, I'm man. real serious, bro. Wow. And don't forget Night Rider. Mm. No, I'm that, forgetting that was Night Rider. I'm forgetting mm. Night Rider. Right. You want me to cut it up now? I, I do. I want you to cut it up because people need to know that you're not just the music director, that you're actually the, one of the best DJs to ever do it. Oh. He's the almighty DJ CJ Flash. Flash, yeah. Flash. Flash. Yeah. Oh, so this cat so right here, what he does, it, it's just, I'm, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. I'm just put my request in. If you can get to it by the end of the show, I'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> I will make it to the end of the show. We'll, okay, we'll Flash, you, you let me know when you're ready. Fine. You let me know when you're ready to do that. You're watching IRTS Live. This answer, I remember that song. I'm Jerry. That's the Almighty DJ CJ Flash. That's Ryan the Code. That's Big Russ. That's D Minor, and we are your hosts and having fun with you tonight. Talking about Solar Records. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit more music to go. Go ahead, Flash. Mm, 
Okay, wait, hold on. I, mm. I got to do it right. Silly of me. You about to do that? Nah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Ooh, nice nice work. 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 Oh my time. Yeah. Come on. Come on. That's the one. Nah, that ain't soul music. I don't know what it is. <laughs> wow. That was beautiful. Both of them. I mean, just both. Seriously. I mean, is bad tonight. Man. He really is. He yeah, really seriously. is. Homestead graves here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be that. I'll be that. Be that. We're talking about Solar Records, Dick Griffey, mm -hmm. Don Cornelius, the Whispers. Love the pants. Yeah. yeah Don yeah. had to love the pants. Yeah, look at that. Oh, had the mom Damn. pants on, too, like all the way up to the belly button. Candy Candyman back there? He fitted back there, Candyman. Damn. Man. That fool said Candyman. <laughs> <laughs> the <Yeah>. belly button. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Flash, keep going. All right, let's keep an eye on the time. We're gonna wrap this up soon. Soon, okay. so let's let's go. Right. Here's one for you. I love this song. CJ would say that's man funk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's man yeah. funk, baby. Yeah. Why is it man? What what makes it man funk? I mean, I, I can smell it, but what is it? Uh, it, it that's that's, that's it. it. You smell that's the, the, the musk oil and the taco meat. That's oh, man yeah. Funk, yeah, you can smell it. This is definitely man funk. Yes, that's lakeside. That lakeside. No, she said Lail side. I don't know oh, who Lail side. Oh yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know who Lail side, side is. She meant Lakeside. You don't, don't mess know. with Sheila. Now that I've met her, I feel like I've, I know her even better now. So yeah, protect Sheila. Protect don't be Sheila. defending that girl. <laughs> she is a national treasure. She <laughs> sure is. She yeah, sure she is. She meant Lail side. Throwing us a curveball. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, Plaid. Just keep going, Plaid. Just All keep right. going. Please. You say you're looking for a lover Someone you can talk to I don't know I that know one. Who's exactly that one? What uh, you need. That's, oh, that's Ryan and them that's people. Ryan. That's, that's okay. Ryan's people. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
Okay. That's Ryan people in there. Collage, is that collage again? Okay, yeah, there we go. Collage. One more time, yep. collage. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uncle in the top left hand corner, or mm-hmm. top right hand corner. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's Sing our uncle. Lead. Okay. Sing and lead. Okay, nice. Yeah, Sing honestly, nice. these were. I had this literal record. I had the only collection I had at this time was a Snow White record, a Sesame Street record. <laughs> 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 I had. The, Vinyl for uh for Mr. Telephone Man, and I had all of Collage's records. Mm-hmm. So Ryan, you That's have so something much. in common with Bruce Springsteen. What? The first record he bought was the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs record. Are you serious? <laughs> wow! Wow! You have something in common with the boss. That's great. Now, do we need to even ask how you know about that or what? Yeah, I, I I listen to uh, I love music, so I listen to interviews all the time. And he has a new record out where he's mm-hmm. doing soul covers for the first time. Oh wow! Which mm-hmm. is amazing, considering he had all that time with Clarence Clemens that he they never they never did really that. did a full mm-hmm. cover record, mm-hmm. but he's, he's doing soul covers. Wow! Hmm. Yeah, neat. You neat. should get him okay. on the show. Okay. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce yeah. Springsteen. Yeah, let's do it. I think I'd rather have that guy that he's working with on his uh, podcast, that Barack guy. He's doing a podcast with him. Let's get him. Yes. Let's small get him potatoes, bro. bro. Get Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. On it. <laughs> Go ahead, Flash. Make them like that, man. No more. Uh, no. Boy, that boy good. That boy good. Cut, cut, that good. Good. That boy good. good. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Look at that. Even Look what you didn't did to your partner, right. man. Look what right. you did right now. Look what you did. Look at that. Chopping <laughs> and cutting. Darn. Yeah. Yeah, CJ. We all cuss you out in a good way, though. Yeah. That's I can't a good believe cussing. they pay me for this job. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> they pay you. Right. <laughs> you getting paid? What happened? Paid, I, didn't, man. I didn't tell I didn't tell the others, Russell. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, 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 I get five slices of, of vegan bologna every episode. Uh, <laughs> it's too late. You don't you don't let the cat out the bag now. I know, man. but the vegan the vegan bologna doesn't fry up the same way. I can't make the little line in it, you know. <laughs> You can't cut a line in it. Yeah, it don't, it don't, it don't curve up. up. It, it don't, don't bubble up, up like you used to. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> we gotta, but one thing we do have to acknowledge, though, in playing the Midnight Stars and the Leg Sides and and the Dynasties, mm-hmm. is that you know they are Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, the yes. southeast of Ohio, Cincinnati, yes, and so you know Midnight Star coming out of Cincinnati and you know coming right behind the Isleys and. Yeah. Bootsy. Catfish and Bootsy yeah. and all of that and yeah. and uh you know in Lakeside coming out of Dayton, Ohio and and, and and things like that. And 
you know, it's funny too because uh, I think they were working on their second, uh, the, 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 the second, uh, the third album, Midnight Star, and they were in the studio. Reggie Calloway, Reggie Calloway was in the studio. Mm -hmm. Roger Troutman comes in right mm -hmm. after him, mm -hmm. and he says, "No, no." He he peeks in. He said, "Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all still making that pretty music, huh?" <laughs> yeah. All right. Keep on going. All right. <laughs> and Reggie was like, "Oh, thanks," and he was like, "I think about a few minutes later, he was like." That was a diss. Right. That was like, you dissed me. That was shade right there. <laughs> that, was, that was some shade all yeah, day. Right. All day. I, I, got a, I got a question. I don't want to stop you, but I just want to make sure Go I, I got the question. Well, with so many hits, um, and clearly like leading the sound of, of the early 80s, what happened to Solar? Why? What happened? Why were they defunct after a while? I think, I mean, and again, maybe Russ and CJ can all... I don't know. I, I think maybe from the business, maybe from maybe from the business aspect, I think Dick just kind of ran out mm. and out of steam. And I know mm -hmm. Death Row kind of came about. Well, looks well, like Gerald one of has the an things answer. I heard it was it, it, it was a distribution situation. Uh, Great. Yes. Great. The, the gentleman in hat has notes. <laughs> ah! By 1987, the label began to see its commercial fortunes decline. Yeah. Contributing to the decline were A&R problems with Shalimar, primarily maintaining the group's identity and momentum as former members Hewitt and Watley had departed and were having successful solo careers at other labels. Mm. The shifting musical directions of R&B, dance, and popular music in general in the late 80s and early 90s also contributed to their decline. It's that damn oh. new jack. Yeah, that new Jack. New Jack swing. So why wasn't he able to keep Howard and, and Jody as right. under contract as solo artists? Well, I think well, I think what happened was is that uh I think Jody had left. She went to she went to London, England, and Jeffrey had also went to Europe. And uh I think they were like a couple of years out into out of their contract, and Howard decided to stay on. Mm. And that's when he, Delissa, and Mickey did that album. And mm -hmm. Howard said, he was like, one thing I don't like doing is staying in court. Mm. So I will go ahead and complete this this last album. And oh, that's right. And so, and that's what he did. But uh, but I think, but actually, Dick Griffey actually got a percentage off of Jody's album, her first album. Really? And he did very well. Yeah. Job, she was man. on MCA, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, which was interesting because that was about the time when you had uh, Sydney, Delis Delisa, and Mickey. They were Shalimar. Mm -hmm. And I remember Dick was trying to get that classic lineup back together. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of, you know, back and forth mm -hmm. between Howard and Jody. And, and I think Jody and, and Jeffrey, Jody and Jeffrey tried to do a reunion, but they wanted to do it with Gerald, not oh, Howard. Oh, dang. And Dick was like, ah, 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 ah. Uh, you gotta uh, do if you're gonna do Shalimar, it's gotta be with Howard, not Joe, not Gerald. Uh -uh. Yeah, I need I need Howard in the late in the 80s. Yeah. yeah. I've been chasing Howard to do our show for about a good year now. So if anybody out there knows Howard or knows somebody who knows Howard can help him get on the show, we'd love to have him on. I'd love to, love hear to have it. him okay. on. Keep the music going, Flash. You just got a couple more. When you love That is one of my favorite R&B songs. Me too. If I, had to, if I had to do a top 50, that would probably be in there of all time. Here's yeah. my guess, Jerry. When you're getting dressed to go out, <laughs> this is the song, right? This is the song. I'm going to make this a night to... It, it, uh, yeah. I can see I like you. that. I can, I can do yeah, that. I can see you. You know, I'm yeah. make this a night to remember. Salmon one. soup. Yeah. yeah. That, was, that was Leon and uh, Foster. Mm. They produced that. It's obvious. I can hear it. Yeah, Leon and Foster, mm -hmm. they, they they went on and uh, produced that. And I believe Nadia, Leon's wife at that time, was she uh, she co-wrote it. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that song. Wow. Their songs were, I mean, obviously, they were in the 80s when Soul Train was kind of uh, 
doing their thing. But I, every time I think of a solo record, I see them dancing on Soul Train. Yes. Was, mm -hmm. And everybody had that little glide that they used to do. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> <Stuff like that. laughs> but but uh, that it's was Soul a, Train in the 80s. The moth's man. water. Mom's water. <laughs> the epileptic <laughs> bird. That was Soul Train in the 80s, bro. You know that's right. I know that. But well, I, I, know love, I, I used to, to love to watch Joe. I know dance. what the answer is. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I was Soul Train in the 80s. <laughs> I that one guy on the Soul Train line. <laughs> That's why it's so odd to me. I know exactly me. what Dan you know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why it's so odd to me that Solar and Soul Train didn't stay together. Because, right. yeah. you know, it just natural is a, a natural fit. It yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Shame yes. on Don. Poor Don. Um, oh, Don did all right. He did all right. Yeah, he, he did, did fine right for himself. <laughs> he did all right. They both did just fine. Oh, yeah. I don't know if he would have had time to be doing... A record label on top of the show, on top, you know. But Soul Train yeah. was great until Shamar Moore. Yeah. Oh, uh, you, you can't be oh. out dancing in the audience with the when you're hosting the show, man. You can't do that. No, you can't do that. You that can't was do that. All up on the ladies. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. All in the videos. All, All in the, the videos. videos. Dancing. <laughs> never saw that. He, you know, Shamar's a local cat. He's a big yeah. cat, you know. Mm -hmm. Boy, yeah, he is. oh boy. You never saw Dick. You never saw Dick Clark dancing on American Bandstand. Uh, I don't think he can dance. I don't think he can dance. I saw Don he, dance he at one time. He went Don down to Soul Train line with, with Mary Wilson. Don did. Yeah. Yes. yes. Don, Don, did. Don went down yeah. with Soul Train a couple of times. Yeah. Just Soul Train oh, a couple of times. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That one with him and that Mary. They had, they had something going. Yeah, I bet oh. they did. Yeah. Him and his little uh, mic, all right now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Don was the. He, he. I hope he trademarked that. Uh, that that game show uh, microphone. Right. Yeah. I think he, he shared a patent. Him and uh, Wink Martindale. They shared, shared, a, shared a patent. Yeah, the, the little microphones and the big wide ties yes, that he would wear yes, all the time. Yeah, yeah. to frame yeah. the microphone. Right. Oh, yeah. gonna be us. Give it up for the right. My right. well, OJ's. But 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 you know you're talking about uh, uh, your boy. You just said um, what's his name? You just said Shamar. Hosting? Shamar. Okay. Mm -hmm. As 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 bad as you would have thought that Don was, he talked too slow. He asked the same questions. He was mm -hmm. always joking about how old somebody was. Mm -hmm. Nobody could host that show like him. No. 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 Nobody, nobody could do it. That's why there was a rotating. Yeah. Wrote in uh, host yeah, for a while. Yeah. all the time. Yeah, up yeah. until two thousand and six. Yeah. yeah, you forget that it was on all the way up until oh six. Yeah. That's crazy. It really yeah, it was such a part of our childhood. Yeah, yeah. It was. yeah no doubt. Saturday mornings, and that's Saturday way back before VCR. So you have one time to see it. That's you have it. One if shot. You had, at if you did not have your chores done, yeah. okay, no, it was all right. that don't miss it. You miss was gonna it. miss yeah. it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you captured it very well at the end of Crooklyn. Yeah. yeah, very, yeah. very well. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. Spike, Spike for the win. Spike for the win. Yes, 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 yes. All Damien, right, Flash. We, we need you on the show more often, Damien. We do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, we can do that. If my calculations more. are correct, you got about one song left? Two more? Two more songs. Two okay, more. let's go. You said we'd be together What does it take to get you close to me? So many times you said things would get better But time after time you failed to convince me Ooh, baby. And now you're telling me it's all in the past how can you be sure it's girlfriend? Say you wanna be with me, and that you're coming to me right now. I want to believe, I believe, I believe, I almost think I can't believe. Just my love. Hmm. Caught up in the rain. 
<laughs> be minor. I'm telling you that microphone. Man. <laughs> he, he got you. He probably got you on pause over there. He, he got me feeling some kind of way, and I don't oh, like it, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> pause. Pause. Uh, I don't like it either. Oh, I don't like yeah. it either. The men all pause. The men all pause. Is, man. <laughs> Ooh, but back to the song. Back to the song. Just yes. my luck. Come on, man. Come on, mm -hmm. y'all. Come, come back. Come back. <laughs> Let it go. Your talk phobia. about that song. Your phobia showing. Let's yeah, that was. It. You two talk amongst yourself. You two, you two brothers. <laughs> <laughs> now, that was an amazing song. That was an amazing song. Yeah. And I got to tell you, uh, salute to uh, Kevin Brown, mm -hmm. KBLX. He, he always kept that song in rotation, too. Yes, and, uh, yeah, and, and uh, yeah, that was D uh, on, on vocals and uh, amazing. The deal. Yeah. The deal, and uh, also I want to salute uh, Davy D to my KPFA brother. Uh, Davy D, wanna, you know, give it up to him as well. But mm -hmm. yeah, just my luck. Uh, the deal, uh, D D was an amazing. Oh boy, him and Carlos, amazing crooners, mm -hmm. performers. Mm -hmm. you, you just you couldn't go wrong with them mm -hmm. at, at the helm. But Babyface just emerged. As that guy, that guy, and it was just it, he was gonna be that third guy, and he was gonna eventually be the first that that number one guy, you know, mm -hmm. in singing. So whether it was shoot 'em up movies, that's my one. Uh, and, uh, that's my one. That's yeah, it. yeah, I love that song. Mm -hmm. Bang bang, gotcha. yeah. <laughs> Army hand. What did what did uh, what the did butterfly? Dwight... The butterfly, yeah, the butterfly catch. catch. The butterfly catch. Butterfly you learned catch. about the butterfly. Bang, bang, yeah. butterfly catch. Butterfly, butterfly. <laughs> and then you gotta let it go, though. You gotta let it go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Catch, catch and release. Yes. Oh my yeah. God. Oh my God. So we learned that last week from Dwayne Wiggins for y'all who didn't see that and go back into the archives that was an show. and check it out with Dwayne Wiggins of the Tonys last week. Yeah. Make sure you go to our, our our YouTube page at IRTS Space Show and do what, Nicole? Ryan Nicole? Uh, I don't know who Nicole is, but Ryan Nicole said you better subscribe. <laughs> Nicole okay. is my niece. Nicole is my niece. Got it. Nicole, tell them. <laughs> Both Ryan Nicole and and Nicole say. And her middle name is Ryan. Oh what? Shut up! No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> that would have been crazy. Huh? I'm I just Thank made that. I'm available at this hour. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, we got one last song to go, but I'm going to tell everybody again. This has been a great show. Like like uh, Russ just said, D minor has been great having you on. Yes. Always a wealth of knowledge. The Encyclopedia Brown Tanica. Take That's your right. notes, my guy. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so I'm yes. going to be looking at the Booyah Tribe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dig up some dinosaur shows. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go listen to some uh, collage. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the notes are all over the place, man. Mm -hmm. So, but, but this so, is that. But the, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no, I, I was going to wrap it up before we get to the last song. But go ahead. But no, this is again. I think just. Uh, it's a blessing just to have this show because, again, we were able to give it up to uh, Dick Griffey, mm -hmm. Mary Lucas, mm -hmm. Leon Silvers, mm -hmm. Virgil Roberts, who was the mm -hmm. entertainment lawyer there, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and even Babyface. Because when Leon left in 83 to create Silver Spoon and focus on that, Kenny became the house yeah. producer. Yeah, mm -hmm. We got to give it up to, to Trudy and, and, and Reggie. We got to give it up to all those guys, Mark Wood, Lakeside, mm -hmm. and all those guys mm -hmm. who in collage mm -hmm. who were really there to really continue and to really make it happen yeah. uh, for that late, uh, for, for Solar. And Death Row, uh, should, you know, Marion was there. You know, Deep Cover was the last thing they put out. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Well done. Big the Red Records. What'd you say? Big red records. Big red records. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, see, you're going to get us in trouble. Now, one more thing, one more thing, D minor, since we're talking about you. What's this about? Oh. You on the court? Why are you down oh. there with the Golden State Warriors on oh. the Chase, Chase Court? <laughs> Chase, with, the uh, tune, with the tune outfit on. Maybe. That's why I told me. It looked like a cartoon. <laughs> when that happened? Well, yeah, we was, uh, that was actually on Monday. And uh, my, uh, my, 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 uh, my bros that I, that I work out with, um, yeah, it all came together um, to do a charity game. Nice. So we actually played at the Chase Center. We were doing a charity right. game and uh, raising funds for uh, for uh, for girls and, and boys basketball uh, out in San Mateo. So Aww. we played against uh, uh, a couple of teams and uh, we, we got it in. But it was amazing just to be there. And wow, we, we tried to shoot some threes and boy, 
I have to it's say this. Way, it's a long we, way. Yeah, we we got we I we have so much respect for Steph Curry. So <laughs> we, okay, him and Jordan Poole. Okay. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> that awesome. looks like that looked like a lot of fun. You playing full court too. You were telling Yeah, me, we right? you was playing full court and we Ooh. played uh, we actually played against Uber and uh mm. and and when they made a shot, we ran right down to 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 our court and I think they were just like these boys are too fast. But, <laughs> but it was amazing, but yeah, <laughs> it was amazing though. You know, we, you know, I wasn't one of the shooters. I was out there rebounding. So <laughs> you were Dennis Rodman. There you pretty go. Pretty much there without without go. all the beating up and elbows. <laughs> without the wedding dress. Damn. <laughs> well, you need to you need to frame that picture right there. And that's put it yeah, that's clean. Right, right on. I appreciate that. Thank yeah. y'all. All right, now, Brian Nicole, tell us about this next oh, Wednesday night. Hey, yeah. next Wednesday. Y'all better get your tickets. The tickets are flying, for real, though. It's uh, myself. Yeah. It is Sang and Sarah and Nate the Soul Singer. Nate. We are going down uh, Thanksgiving Eve. Like we saying, put your turkey on, on low. Come through and check us out. We're going to have a great show. We already did one of the rehearsals. It's fire. It's going to be amazing. Please come out. For your own good, please come out and have a good time. Let us let us feed you at this Queen's giving. Nice. Yeah. And this thing is uh not sold out already. It's close, but you know and how to town come be. on. Y'all better come you know on. how to town be, man. Last minute, they'll wait. Yeah. And they'll yeah, call me. They'll yeah, call they'll me. Oh, yeah, they're gonna blow you up. Yeah, yeah Ryan, can I get in? in? No, you yep. can't. Yeah, for yeah. for Yoshi.com. Yoshi.com. Right. Yes. And my fellas on Friday, what's going on with you? Oh man, it's gonna be so much fun. Flash is gonna be in the mix. I'm just gonna, I'm riding, I'm riding shotgun. Nah, man. Yeah, yeah, nah, man. That's that's uh, that's Murtaugh. I'm Riggs. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. I'm getting too, get too old for this. That's right. That's right. Too old for this. <laughs> I feel you, Riggs. I feel you, Riggs. What took you so long? We'll be Riggs. We'll be Riggs. Oh, Jesus. What took you so long? <laughs> Is there a particular topic y'all spending on? You just spending. We don't. We don't never do. know. We don't. Yeah. We don't know. That it's, it's a gift and a curse of the show that we we don't really plan it. It's. I have no idea what I'm going to start the show with. It, it can, it. It, we start the show with. It's supposed to be a five minute intro, and then by five o'clock, I start the show. <laughs> and, uh, so we just are talking as though we don't talk during the week. It seems like Randy, hey CJ, how you doing? You know, <laughs> and then whatever the the chat room or the the conversation that mm -hmm. takes me, then I'll it'll it'll spark something in me, and I'll start the show with that. And I, I have it. no idea what I'm gonna. I do. love it. I love uh, it. Sometimes mm -hmm. you know there'll be something where I wanna. Uh, a Michael Jackson birthday, uh, yeah, you know, even a Tito Jackson birthday. Sometimes I'll just yeah. go, you know, I'll just I'll just go in a certain direction, uh, go in a Paisley vibe. Sometimes, yeah. Um, one show that people like is when I'll just out of the blue, I'll just do all live music. Yes, mm. yes. Yeah, those are the best I'll, ones. I'll mix all live music. Yeah. Like yeah. One the big ones. ass concert. One, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I That's love so it. Dope. It depends. It really depends. But I take donations for whatever you want to hear. So okay. <laughs> I love it. I, okay. I got some vegan bologna on the way. I, I'll take it. Okay. Take so, it. The girls of Flash, you got something you want to add to the show? Um, to that show? Yeah. Uh, Friday, Friday after our show is the Prince of Sophisticated Soul, Mr. Will Downing, and the wind down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yes. then the after that. Corn. This Friday, we'll be hanging out with the Whispers and the Stylistics. Lovely, right. lovely. Yes. Right. Deuce and a quarter, fifth wheel. I love it. Oh, <laughs> and New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve just announced. Yes. New Year's, New Year's Eve, we will be at the Paramount with the Bay Area Zone, Shantae Moore, uh -huh. and, and Mr. Collard Greens himself. Anthony Hamilton. Oh man, fire! Um, New Year's Eve show. Charlene. Yes. Let's, let's get one. Of, let's get one of them on in December. Come on, let's yeah, get one of them on in December. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, that would be great. You know, you know Shantae. Let's get her on in that's December. That's the joint. Charlene is Charlene the, is the one. Charlene is the joint. That is yeah. the. Joint. And I'm going to say this because it's getting cold outside, so you know what that means. Yep. It's hoodie time. Yeah. Hoodie time. yeah. Right. Hoodie time. I, I gotta get my. I gotta get my hoodie. It's you good. Oh, that's you said out, that. but that's okay. That's okay. Wait, I was scared for a second. Get I thought he was gonna wrap himself with some mouse pads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm over the mouse pads. You don't want to keep bringing them up. <laughs> Hoodie time at gwdesigns.com or irtsshow.com. Either one of those yeah. websites will get you two 
the store and get you some t-shirts. They and are cozy. And they are cozy. You know? and I, keep I, you going. And, yes. and the black one is embroidered with the I uh, and Bay Area Black Famous. And it's, it's, it's nice. They're yeah. worth it. Trust I can't me. wait to see. Uh, yeah, I got to get my, I got to get a couple of them. Yeah. That yeah. RTS hoodie is live. I like yeah. that. I like, yeah, I like that. Live. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And and I'm going to do a flash that suggested I do one in black. So I'm getting a logo design yes. so we get a black hoodie with the IRTS Live logo on it. There we so go. It'll as pop. As soon as that's ready, Definitely. y'all will see it, okay? Yes. We're going to shout out our girl Tracy, who was not with us tonight, and uh, sp- particularly from Emmanuel Briggs. Tracy, yes. say hello. That's and, uh, we miss yeah. you, sister. We miss we'll you. Yes, we do. We miss you, Tracy. One we more have. time, we'll Definitely. be back next week, and we'll be talking about Ain't too proud to beg Yay. at the Golden Gate Theater in San Francisco. Yeah, I want to hear about that one. The participants in the show on this show next Tuesday night. So we got one more song flash, and then we're going to fade into the sunset. Uh-huh. Thanks for watching, everybody. Here's one more from the Solar Records label. Peace, blessings, and thank you for watching. IRTS Live is brought to you by United Players. It takes the hood to save the hood. Lifelong Medical Care, offering free vaccines for everyone 12 and over. Call Lifelong at 510-549-5454 or visit lifelongmedical.org. Brought to you by c HR Consulting Group, the human resources specialist, providing personalized service to building a better tomorrow. Enjoy the difference. This episode is powered by PlushLifeMedia.com. Let us remix your digital presence. Check out GDubDesigns.com to get t-shirts and hoodies that make a statement. Join DJs Big Russ and CJ Flash for the world-famous show live Fridays, noon to 4 Pacific. Catch them on the following social media platforms. And if you'd like to join us as a sponsor, please email us at info at IRTSshow.com.